Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with another community zoo tour. And in today's episode, we are going to check out this aquatic franchise zoo made by Goldie called Kemijoki Zoo, which is a zoo located in Finland, so I probably did ruin <laughs> pronunciation like so hard so sorry about that in advance but thank you so much goldie for sharing your zoo with us for a showcase on the channel really do appreciate it and if you have a finished zoo you would like me to check out as well on the channel then please do read the description of this video of how you can send me your finished zoo and who knows i might be able to check out your zoo as well on the channel in the future now without further talking let's go and check out give me joki zoo by goldie um, so we're going to start right over here at the lovely entrance and we have a lot of guests around here but everything seems to be pretty smooth or maybe I should reduce the guests just a tiny little bit. So the guest amount should be uh, reducing to like a, a thousand guests or something like that. So hopefully that is going to uh, help us a little bit with the frame rate. But man, this already looks really cool. I love it that this is... Like, as you could tell from the top, this is like a lot of blue and also with like the uh, aquatic pack, uh, uh, like the, the path that we get and stuff. Uh, so I was right away drawn to this zoo being like, ah, oh, this is going to be interesting because this is going to be something that we have not seen on the channel before. So uh, I'm already very impressed by the entrance and, and all these blue colors, like overwhelming me almost. Absolutely love it. And also really do like, like uh, this sign right over here and like the shape of this building looks really cool. And uh, yeah, just the fact that this was a franchise zoo uh, also makes me very curious to see how you did that as we are like very addicted to franchise mode at the moment on the channel. So it's always really cool to see how other people made their franchise zoos. Really do like this entrance here as well. Also love this uh, this sign right over here. And uh, we did also download some blueprints and stuff, or uh, not blueprints, uh, the the billboard pictures. Uh, so that is also going to be fun to see how you uh, made your own uh, billboards. Absolutely love this little uh, uh, statue here with all these uh, seal statues. I really like that, I like the small little details uh, to decorate this entrance. This looks really cool. Also, just all these, uh, I think you call them turning cells or something like that. Tur uh, something. You guys know what I mean. Really do like this entrance area. So as always... I think we should just go, oh, I want to see that first before we go to miss out on that. Look at this. How cool is that? All these fountains and V of X's and stuff. Man, that looks really awesome. Oh, I really love this. But yes, as always, even though I really want to see this entrance area as well, just look how cool this looks with the with this aquatic path. Like, I'm one of those people that are like, meh, I'm not going to use that. But it looks so cool, doesn't it? It really does. Really love this here as well. This this whole variation here with the rocks and the waterfall and all these blue statues of these aquatic animals. This is so cool. Definitely really original, really inspiring. Uh, there is a boat ride, uh, but let's go to here, to the right side. And then just go and follow. Oh, is this like a little next, like, like a path going through a little park right over here where you can just relax? I oh, love that. So peaceful. So, okay. Tropical zone. We have some cute little shops right over here. The giant otter on this side. Also really like it that you use just a lot of variation of the path. That's really cool. A cute little habitat here. Look at this thing. That's so awesome. Just to give the guests a little bit more shade. Wow, look at this. That's a really cool sign. That looks absolutely amazing. Really like this. And let's see, the guests can also, oh, they can look into the habitat from here. 
with a little mud pool, a little shelter area right over here for the giant otters. But I think there also is uh, a little viewing, underwater viewing gallery. But isn't that like if we follow the path down here? I think so. I think we can go down here. Yes, look at this. That's really cool. Oh, you can even go inside here. Oh, that's really awesome. I really like this. That looks awesome. Really nice work. I like the rock work in here. Like not too many, but it, it just feels natural. Very nice way for the guests to experience the giant otters in here to dive or deep dive and play in the water. Look at this, by the way. That's so cool as well. Very deep area. Also, you are probably one of the few people that use that thing and that it works. I'm not going to check. I'm just going to pretend that it works for you. <laughs> but for me to space around it is just not enough. But it looks like you did uh, give it enough space. Uh, we can go around here also at the back side look at this sign as well that is so cool really like it as well when like this little sign here Kim come Kim Yoki Park Kim Yoki Park I really don't know how to say that like I I don't even know how how Finnish the language I think it's called Finnish right how that sounds actually now that I think of it I I don't really know uh, no, I really don't know. <laughs> so I can't have like, I don't have any reference of saying like, oh, this is how you say that. Love the sign right over here, by the way. Oh, wow, look at this. That's so beautiful with all these waterfalls in the background. Some nice climbing frames. Nice and lush tropical habitat for the proboscis monkey here. Another shade area right over here with a beautiful sign again. You did so much work for the signs here as well. Definitely great job on that. Look how awesome this looks. Like you go up here onto the viewing gallery, making sure that the guests have areas where they can get some shade. Really nice viewing gallery, really well put together. Also really cool that the proboscis monkey has all these kind of platforms and stuff where they can chill and be in the, in the shade as well. Really nice area here. Oh, but this is actually going a little bit further. Let's let's go back quickly here before we miss out on anything on the giant otter. Or is this... Oh, this was the backside. Love the foliage work in here as well, by the way, and the and the rock work. This white whitish color definitely looks really nice. I'm not really sure if it's like gray or white, but it definitely looks really nice. Also, just the rock work and the water in the middle right over here also looks really nice. So if we go down right over here, and then we have a caiman. Oh, look at that! A little playground. <laughs> a little playground. <laughs> What was that, lady? <laughs> a little playground. I love this one. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, there are some toilets. Saltwater crocodile we have here. Look at this awesome sign here as well. Oh, that's really awesome. Oh, I like this. But where do we go? Okay, first go up right over here. Oh, there's like this, this eating and drinking area. Oh, and the guests can then also connect here. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, look at this underwater viewing gallery. Oh, that's so cool. Man, I just love this, 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 a little bit too green, bluish water. Always, it, I don't know, it's just looking so cool. Oh, this is absolutely amazing. Seeing the saltwater crocodile deep dive so much, so low. Really nice rock work in here as well. It gives you a little bit of a temple feeling around here. Really like the rock work here as well and the foliage work. And just in general, like the use of these archways everywhere and, and the aquatic rocks around here. Definitely really cool example of how to go crazy with the uh, aquatic pack and all the items uh, that you got in there. Another little uh, shade area in here. Some beautiful waterfalls really like this uh this awning or i don't know how to call it viewing gallery in general looks really cool 
Absolutely well done. And where where does this go to then? Is there like maybe the staff building? Oh, you can just go around here. Oh, that's really nice. Look how cool this looks. Definitely really great work. Fantastic habitat. And if we then go, let's see. Okay, there we came from. So we can go through here. Also just notice how you add like this, this little statue on top of there. It's a small little details, guys. Really cool work. Oh, what do we have here? Beautiful waterfalls again. Is this another foot? Yeah, okay, that's the thing, right? I actually pay not too much attention to that just yet, but I should be doing that because, or maybe this is even hard mode where you just need to add so many shops, uh, like, like drink and food shops everywhere. That could definitely be. But I just noticed right away, like, oh, wait, there's another food and drink area. Okay. <laughs> Reminds me of uh, Fair Test Mode back in the day. So you maybe did a fantastic job on doing this at hard mode, which I'm not. <laughs> but the surroundings look so beautiful here. Really do love the signs as well. Really cool area. Look at this. How awesome. Little archway made out of, out of the blocks. Really cool rock work on the edges. And then we have really nice underwater viewing gallery for the dwarf caiman. Beautiful waterfall there. Now monitor and dwarf caiman. Yes, we love the now monitor. Look at this, how beautiful it all looks with the blue water. And uh, look, this is the taiga biome, I'm guessing. So all the, the, the terrain and stuff is a little bit more... Going towards yellow, if you ask me if, if nothing is wrong with my eyes. <laughs> but it looks so good. Also, notice the fact that there is like this hole in between. I like that. It feels a little bit more realistic even. Really nice area right over here. And then on the other side, we have the now monitor which I absolutely love. <gasps> There's even an albino one. Look at that. Wait, are you a now monitor? I would say you're a Komodo dragon, but you're white. It's a now monitor. Wait, why did I think that is a Komodo dragon? For some reason, there was something with its head and I'm probably just saying something really silly. <laughs> but for real, I was... Oh, okay. Right. That was an albino now monitored. Nothing to see here. <laughs> move along, move along. We did not hear anything. Oh, but this, I really like this. I like how you set up this uh, indoor building. Or like, it's not really an indoor building. It's more like a shelter area. Oh, love it that you added these billboards with, again, this must, must have taken you so much work as well add all these signs to it and stuff and you must have had so much fun just building the zoo in franchise mode making it all work taking care of your animals absolutely love it really nice work but it does sometimes mean that you need to uh redo well like depending on how you play like if i play i i do not pay too much attention with the with the coverage but you don't really have to with medium mode but maybe with hard mode it's different uh but yeah depending on how you play like the more you will be able to add in franchise mode oh, it all looks so beautiful here look at this awesome bridge here as well looks really cool that's a staff area and then, oh, these archers are so funny. I love that. Looks so good. So what do we have on this side? Gray seal habitat. Oh, yes, I want to see that. But first, okay, there are some, some food and drink shops on this side. You can also go to this way and then just sit down and relax. Do you have a nice viewing here on the habitat? No, I don't think so. Just a beautiful water area. But I don't think there are animals in here but it looks so beautiful and peaceful i would love to eat my uh my lunch there california sea lion no 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 no. we're first going to the to the gray seal so this was a tropical area and now we go to 
some seals and sea lines. Oh, look at this. How awesome. This is so beautiful. Really nice underwater viewing. Nice rock work. Good viewing for the guests here to see them all swim. Absolutely love it. Look at it go. Oh man, it's so much fun to see these animals deep dive. Absolutely love it. Really nice habitat here. Now we can go up. You can also look into the habitat from here. There's also a viewing gallery on the side. Love this sign, by the way. It's so good. Beautiful uh, self-made sign, the billboard. Look at this roof. Oh, man, it's so interesting. I love how you did this. Looks really cool with a really nice viewing in here as well in the habitat. And then we go down. Let's go to the California sea lion. So we go up. Oh, wait, is this? Yes, this is the way. Oh, look at this. Also, really nice rock work. Where, where did I miss out on the underwater viewing gallery? Oh, I like this. I like the distance here. So it's like still like natural. I love the rock work here, by the way. And it would almost feel like the same high elevation, like just like it would see in real life. Oh, this is fantastic. Really like this. Really love these, these uh, shade covers. Order viewing galleries. Oh, oh, I can see it right over here. Oh, wait, so they have a... Uh, oh, this is an animal, animal educational area. And then, wait, here is another viewing gallery from this way. Look how awesome this looks. Also with the staircase and stuff, with the rock work. Absolutely love this. But then, okay, okay that middle section, I want to go down. Ah, this is so interesting. I love how you did this with all the different height elevations. All these guests standing here already and not going down. Typical. <laughs> Very typical. Oh, I love this. This little archway as well, by the way. Nice, nice sign right over here. And then you have this really cool viewing with some beautiful rock work and some California sea lines just deep diving. But they're all so far away, unfortunately. Are these two coming this way? Oh, it looks like it. It looks like it. Oh, look how cute that little one is. Oh, this is so awesome. I really hope in the future that we will see some more interactions with animals while they are deep diving. But really great area here as well, Goldie. Well done. Um, let's see. So the California sea lion, I think, yes, this should be the way to go for. Also, again, really nice shade area here. Oh, wait, what do we have here? A moose. Oh, look at this. Look how beautiful that looks with the blue water and the boat going through. Absolutely love it. Oh, this looks so good. So if we go down right over here, we have some nice little shops. Oh, there's a polar bear right here as well. Love the polar bear. Some toilets. This is another moose. I oh, love this sign here, by the way, with the logs, how you did that. Oh, look at this. This is also really funny. I oh, love that. That's a really cute sign. Oh, look at this. How gorgeous this all looks. Really beautiful work. I love all the flowers in here as well, by the way. I also love how you made this little shade area. Really cool work. Beautiful sign here again. The signs are really on point. Absolutely love them. Definitely really nice habitat here as well for the moose. And then we go down. What do we have right over here? Uh, wait, we can go up here. Oh, I hear some arctic foxes. Is that on this side? Oh, no, these are timber walls. Oh, look at this sign here as well. Love it. It's really cool. 
Oh, beautiful waterfall right over here. Where are they? Oh, there you are. Can we hear some singing in here? How? I don't think that I ever... Did we hear it? We heard it once right after they updated it. And then we went back to hopefully... Like we heard it in the distance or something. Can't really recall that we ever heard it after that. They're like, they're singing and stuff. I'm not sure. But look at this, how cool this is with the big staircase going all the way up here. And then I was just so focused on the, on the, uh, <laughs> singing that I was not paying attention, but the rock work here and like the flowers and stuff looks all so beautiful. Really love how you did this with the uh, aquatic rocks and make this big pathway going all the way up. Look at this as well. Love how you use the locks here with the uh, around the uh, around the windows. It looks really cool. Really beautiful area. Oh, there is the Arctic fogs. Oh, it's such a pity. Like the Siamangs you hear constantly, but. You really need to be lucky, I guess, with, with the Timberwolves. There's also another animal that they updated, didn't they? I think there were three in total. Can't even remember what the other one was. Do let me know in the comments down below if you remember. I, it's the Timberwolves, the Siamangs. What? I think there was another animal that did some kind of singing with the whole group something. But it looks really beautiful. Really great work here. So the other side, we have the Arctic Fox. Really love how you use all these flowers in here, by the way. It looks so colorful, so beautiful. Also love how you use all these uh, logs right over here and these African pieces as well. Really beautiful work. I would almost forgot that this is a uh, franchise mode too. Aw, look at these puppies. Oh no, they're kits, right? Fox kits. So adorable. Beautiful habitat. Lovely rock work as well. Really nice work here. Oh man, I'm a little bit disappointed with the Timberwolves that they're not making any uh, cool noises. <gasps> this sounds different. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I can't believe we triggered this. Oh, that was that's so sad. <laughs> no, that was a okay. Shut up now. Oh no. <laughs> You gotta do more. You are just like on repeat. And this one is like responding to you. <laughs> For real. And that one's like, I don't want to anymore. <laughs> stop. Can you stop now? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just constantly on repeat. <laughs> Are you going to join? Oh my gosh, stop! Now it's becoming annoying. I'm going to move you. Oh, oh! Oh, you are going to sing along now too, huh? It's not on repeat. Oh! <laughs> there are now the two of them. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, yes, they're both on repeat. Oh my god, okay. Okay, I will never ever ask 
Again, are you do Yes, they're doing it again. I will never ever ask again to do this. Because you guys are on repeat now. Like, you will never stop. Oh, oh, they're moving. Oh. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> we will move. That's still the first one, I think. That just keeps singing. Oh my goodness, what was that? <laughs> oh, look at this, how cute! A little dome building, so you can see them indoors. Oh, wow. Oh, I love this. This is so cute. Oh, really like this. Very inspiring. Really great work. Oh, you have so many. Oh, look at this cute little face. Oh, there's so many cute billboards in here as well. What a great area. Well done. Is there another one or is this connected? This feels like another habitat. Oh, they're just so cute, aren't they? So fluffy. <laughs> oh man, I'm glad that the timber will stop <laughs> howling. Wasn't that to, like, of course it was super cool. And then they were they were able to make me annoyed after like one minute already. <laughs> but I love this habitat. I really find it a cool way how you use all these uh, staircases in such a like such a big way. Like I never did use it like this, but it works so well. Absolutely super inspiring, and I really love also how you use the locks here. It's it looks so good. Love the natural vibe to it. Arctic Fox, some toilets, a new playground, Timberwolves, a different viewing gallery on this side. Oh, look at that. It's so beautiful. I think we were just standing on the other side from there. But really nice. Also, the uh, elevations with the terrain and stuff. You really did a great job on that. Um, I saw some North American beavers, but I guess we should go. Oh, look at this. A little, cute little park again, where you can just sit down and relax. What a beautiful area. Is this, uh, what, what shall we... Okay, that is the moose habitat, so we should go here. I think that's the right way. So the boat will go underneath here as well. And let's have a quick look. Ur European Badger! Oh, that's cool. I like how you did the viewing gallery here as well. Like, also with wood, but like a totally different vibe to it. Love the logs. Oh, this is so cool as well, by the way, with the rusted wall set. And then some logs here. Beautiful sign, of course, because you're so good at it. Really nice viewing gallery. Beautiful habitat. I love how everything is a little bit more tiny in here. That's so cute. Oh, we missed out on this little cute fella. There you are. Hello, cutie. Ah, don't walk away from me. They're so beautiful, aren't they? I love these guys. They're really cute. Really nice habitat here. Really great work. And then here we have the original links. I missed out on the otter though. Where is the... Uh, or the otter, the, the, the giant beaver on the other side. Hopefully we will uh, we will be able to, to walk past that. Look how cool. Again, a different way of just making these uh, viewing gallery walls. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, there's even a cave viewing. Okay, wait, we're gonna start here. Or we can maybe just go around here. Is that? Yes. Okay, this is still their habitat as well. The rock work is great around here. Love the cave. Look how beautiful this all looks. Oh, wow. Absolutely fantastic. Beautiful waterfalls and climbing frames. Yes, all looks really nice. And then, oh, this is definitely not for, for guests to look through, but <laughs> for more like daylight letting it, letting the daylight go in. Love this sign here as well. 
that's so awesome. But I love it nonetheless, even though it's not really working for the for the guest. Well, maybe, maybe you can see them from here. Like you could have like a glimpse from. Them. Oh, that's a really cool idea, actually. You can walk away around here. How beautiful! Really great way of setting up your habitat. Very original. Like I've never seen anyone doing that with the uh, with the windows and stuff. You can also go up and have a viewing in the habitat like this. Fantastic. Really awesome habitats with really some creative corners and stuff. Really love that. Uh, look at this. The foliage work and stuff is so beautiful here as well. Um, so can we go? No, that's a staff path. So there's Eurasian, uh, the lynx, the badger. Could we go around here? Oh, no, that's a staff area as well. So maybe just follow the path to here, European badger. Is this the end of the zoo? Maybe, ah, uh, is it? I have not seen those beavers yet. No, and a polar bear. <laughs> Look at this, how beautiful it all looks with the flowers and stuff. Different height elevations going all the way up to the polar bear habitat. That's a really cool way of dragging people into your habitat or your indoor building for the habitat. Now, this is franchise mode, you guys. Which means that this habitat is humongous, like really huge. Because the polar bear requires just a lot of space, but look how gorgeous this all looks. You really chose to decorate the habitat, like you could have gone for uh, a lot of snow, a lot of flat areas, but you did not. Your rock work is amazing here. Love the foliage work, some trees here and there. This definitely is a fantastic franchise mode habitat for the polar bears. Oh, how gorgeous this all looks. Look at this. It really works super well in this biome with this blue water. How beautiful, look at that. Absolutely love the viewings in this habitat from every angle. And you really made sure like your your viewing gallery is in the middle of of the habitat, like because you need so much space. Oh look at this, the caves. You need so much space for these animals, like a lot of space. So you need to make sure that your guests are also still able to see the polar bear from most of the angles. How do we get to the viewing gallery, underwater viewing gallery? Is that here? Oh yes, okay, let's go down. So you did a fantastic job in, in making this like right in the middle of the habit. Look how awesome this looks. Oh wow, this is so impressive. Oh look, we even are so lucky. The rock work is so good as well. Oh, there's another one diving here. <gasps> now this is what you want to see. When you're in a zoo, you want to see polar bears deep dive because it's just the coolest thing when polar bears deep dive. In Rotterdam Zoo, Blydor, which is my favorite zoo, they also have. Most of the time when I visit there, you, you see a polar bear deep diving in the underwater viewing gallery. It's so awesome. Absolutely love it. The other one doesn't really want to dive, but I'm happy that we at least saw one. But this is amazing. What a fantastic... This also, this, like... Ugh. What a fantastic habitat for the polar bears, Goldie. You did a fantastic job, really. Absolutely love it. Um, so how do we get out? I think just via the same way. But does this mean... Apart from the North American beaver, which is probably somewhere over here, well, maybe that actually is going to lead us. This is this is a lot bigger still. 
there are so many things that we have not seen yet. So where, okay, this is the polar bears. Where are the North American beavers? This is the Eurasian lynx. Let me just check. Yes, North American beaver is right over here. And I think we can follow the path all the way to that side as well. Uh, so right over here, that is already. So I don't see any beavers though. They here? What a lovely habitat here as well. Oh, they even have an overpass. So the guests can't... Oh, I want to say the guests can... Well, no, the guests can see them walk uh, walk the beavers over here. Oh, there's one. It's good to use it. Oh, this is such a cool way of creating a habitat for them. So this one has a little overpass. <laughs> They walk. They're not really animated to <laughs> walk these things, unfortunately. Uh, but it can go all the way to here as well. Okay, let's just go from the viewing galleries. Oh, look at that one it's sitting on his bum. Aww. Oh, that one is running so fast. Oh my goodness. What a beautiful area for them. Really like how you set this up with that overpass. Hi. Oh, they're so adorable. Yes, you. <laughs> We're looking at you. You're so cute. What a beautiful habitat. Really love your rock work and the foliage work in here. Absolutely great job. And then you have an underwater viewing gallery as well for them. Oh, that's just fantastic. Oh, that's really cool. I did not expect that with already the amount of space that they have look at this you guys such beautiful rock work here as well oh man this is so cool to see them deep dive in here absolutely amazing work really great job on this american beaver habitat love the sign here as well absolutely do so then we go up here Siberian tigers. Look at that. Love the wall here. Love the, the, the wood. And, and what is that? Oh, that's also wood. Oh, I love this combination. I love it that you really try to make something different for all the habitats. Look how beautiful this habitat looks, by the way. It's picture perfect. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful waterfall. What? Look at that! That's awesome! Oh, this is really, really cool. Absolutely love it. Staff only. Oh, wow. Really, really nice viewing as well in the, in the habitat here. What a beautiful area this is. So now we can go to, I'm just going to follow the path right over here and see where it will lead us to. Like, I'm pretty sure that we have not seen a lot of the animals still. This is a reindeer area. We have some cute uh, little shops right over here. Oh, this is really nice. Such a lovely viewing also right over here. Sit down and eat your lunch and stuff. Really like it. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, this is also a really cool way. I love how you use this this blue stroke in the middle or, or ro stroke <laughs> stroke <laughs> in the middle as we say stroke. <laughs> Just like a, a line or a bar. I think a, a, a bar. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sometimes the confusion is real. Like a stroke in English is something completely different. Oh man, I just love this underwater view and look how beautiful it all looks with the green and stuff as well. This looks absolutely gorgeous. What a beautiful Gariel habitat. And then you go up here, have the Gariel statues. Look at this, how awesome. Oh wow, look at them go. Oh, really fantastic. <gasps> look at the big one. Oh, look at the little ones. Look how tiny they are compared to this, the, the mill. Oh, wow. 
Oh man, I love the gharials. There's so many animals I still want to make so many habitats for, but I can only do one at a time. Fortunately. But that's why I keep enjoying this game so much, because it takes so much time, so... It's like... Oh, I can have so much fun with so many animals still. Look how beautiful this looks. Um, Wait, can we... Yes, we can go up right over here. Oh, look how gorgeous this looks. Oh my goodness, so many reindeers. Beautiful. Oh, they also have like this overpass over the water. Oh, that's so cool. Also love these awnings here as well. What a beautiful area. Also like how you added like the glass and then you have like a little planter here with some flowers and stuff. Absolutely gorgeous. And then we can go right over here to... Did we miss out on anything right over here on this side? This is like more of like a, a, a food and drink area, shopping area. It's quite big actually. Maybe also connected to other areas. Probably. This looks really cool though. What is that building though? Oh, that's not... Oh, that's the station for the boat ride. So if we go around here and then just go over the bridge. It's really fun that you have a boat ride so you can have like this, this big river going through here. Like it makes your whole zoo so much more interesting because you have so many different height elevations and stuff with, with bridges going over it. <gasps> Wait, this is the entrance! No way! Oh, but look how cool this looks. Definitely really beautiful area. I will I will uh, let you guys go and have this uh, beautiful boat ride going all the way through the zoo because also this video is going to become very, very long, especially if there are going to be animals uh, maybe swimming in front of the boat. But oh boy, does this look amazing. Let me just quickly check if we did not miss out on any animals, which we probably did because I feel like... If we just wait a second, wait, we can go around here. Look, the penguin zone. Look how gorgeous this looks as well. Really love your rock work in here with all these fountains and stuff. Oh my goodness, I absolutely, oh, I can't believe that I almost forgot this penguin area. Man, this is so cool. Look at this. I love the different height elevations. Going all the way through this habitat. Oh, this, this section is going up and then they go into the water and then you can see them. Oh, that's really cool. But can we also go inside of this building? Oh, no, this is, this is only staff. Oh, look at this little cute building. A little penguin restaurant area. And then you can go and have a look here as well. To the underwater viewing of the king penguins. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait. I actually want to go and see that. <laughs> Just look how awesome you made this and how well it's all put together. Look at the little ones going all the way up there as well. The rock work looks so good. Love the combination here with the temple pieces and stuff as well. How beautiful this is. Love the waterfalls. And what is this then? This is a little, a little baby pool it almost feels like. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, this is so adorable. Absolutely love this habitat. Really great work. Love the rock work. Also love it that they have a little shade area like this. What a cool habitat this is. And then right away on the other side, we have some uh, tropical, well, not really that tropical, but some African penguins. Look at this little one right over here. Oh my gosh, look at them all. Oh, that's so adorable. But they can't swim, unfortunately, all these, these little ones. But what a beautiful area this is as well. I love it that you added both of them. In this area to also show the contrast. Like the beautiful orange colors here as well. This looks really good. Absolutely well done. 
Look at this, how cool. Love the rock work in here. <laughs> Are you going to dive into the water? Ooh! What? <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> and it, it, it looked like it was like a, hi, I'm an African penguin. Bloop. <laughs> No, I have the boss of a game pen. <laughs> what was that? Oh my goodness. Oh wow, look at this area. Oh, this is so beautiful. Love the shelter area right over here. Also really like it that you used the real path here as a texture underneath. Oh, that's so cool. That's so creative. I really like this. That looks great. Oh, look at all these here. Oh, wow. What a beautiful area for your African penguins. Super impressive. Absolutely love this area. Oh, wow. Well done. So does this one have an exit as well as an entrance from this side? I think so. So where did this? Why did we miss this? Actually, don't know. This is this is probably a pretty big area with the uh, some food and drink shops. So maybe that is why we did see the seals. Yes, we see we saw the seals and the California sea lions. So this is a penguin zone. Let me just check right now the real list of all the animals to be sure that we did not miss out on anything. Yeah, unfortunately, this was in the, the last habitat and, and all the animals. But as I said, or I tried to see <laughs> before I jumped to the, to the penguins, definitely go and download the zoo yourself and go and take that boat trip ride. And let me know and let everyone know in the comments down below uh, how much you enjoyed it. And in general, just let me know in the comments down below what was your most favorite and most inspiring part of this zoo. Of course, leave something nice for Goldie as well in the comments down below because this was absolutely fantastic. And I would almost again forget about the fact that this is a franchise mode zoo, guys. So I think you really did a fantastic job on this zoo and definitely very inspiring as well with just this this aquatic pack theme and and all the blue and stuff very original so definitely really enjoys walking around this zoo thank you all so much for watching please leave something nice in the comments down below leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already and yeah i just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one thank you guys so much for watching bye guys